Some of you must be lost on my words. Let me help you. Where you found her. Not to be lost on them today. Did I do a good job? Where you found it? Or are you still lost on them today? For the lack thereof. Common sense. What do you feel? Is that what you know? And is what you know what you're feeling right now? Could you describe it perfectly? Was all feeling the same or did you need a few ways to describe it before you could tell me about that? See, when you take my words away from me, it's clear to me that <clears throat> you weren't aiming to keep them. You only so sought to destroy what I said and what I'm saying still. So the next time you take my words from me, know this. It's not allowed. I've already gotten them back. That's where this conversation started. I told you I would. Even though I didn't have it when I started this video. There it is again. My words from mine. Is that okay? It should be. I fought for that. If you don't like it, go to war. Don't come back. Until you figure it out. That's why these words are mine. I've been in war for a long time. It doesn't stop. And once you're at war, it remains. That's the truth. You only learn to be with it as such. So it is in our youth that we learn also the same. Pain becomes normalized. What's normal because, you know, no one's got the right to complain becomes common sense. And when common sense is desensitized beyond reason, it's daring that way. No longer has ears to listen because that's how fucking careless they are. Then don't you ever take my words again from me. Only to forget them because you don't care where you are. Now, with my words today. I know you should. Your youth certainly does. That's very good. That's as close as God. To God. That you will get. And I am as close as it gets also in a very, very, very same way. So you will remember these words because they're mine. And for anyone who has taken my words in the past, I've got them back. They're mine also. When I'm using them, they are mine. When you use words, those words are yours. So let's make sure you know who the illustrator and the literary sense behind it is. What it means. How many different ways could we describe our feelings? Oh, is it sharp? Is it long? Is it painful? Is it high? Is it cold? Lots of things to say the same thing I'm feeling or feeling good enough. It is. Thanks. My words, not yours. You will remember. I won't let you forget. If need be. like this. That's what this video is for. That and my kids. So they don't have to go through this again too. They will continue with these words to follow through. Oh, your crap. That's for you. Not for them. Because I have kids too. I'll take your crap. 
redirect it, recalibrate, and give it back to you the way it was supposed to be. Might even give you a rose. It'll take some time, but you know that's how shit works with roses, too. So. Mind my thorns. It's not a horn, but seems I've definitely crossed my T's and dotted the I.